What's going on everyone? Nathan here with another discussion video, kind of a follow-up to that ice beam video I put out last week. In that video I asked if ice beam's underrated because of its side effect. Today's video, as you saw in the title, is is spikes underrated? And again, I think the kind of common reaction to that is gonna be something along the lines of, no, like it's very obvious what spikes does. It's amazing. Certainly an older gen's pre-stealth rocks, it was god tier. I think we correctly evaluate how good it is right now. And I understand that perspective, but my thought today was there's so much discussion now on how, how good uh, heavy duty boots are and how good, of course, everyone's always talking about how good stealth rocks are. And of course, agree with that. But in a heavy duty boots meta, I think it warrants discussion talking about how every mod that's weak to rocks is probably wearing boots. And if that's the case, why wouldn't we be using spikes? So let's go to the overused tier right now. Go mod by mod and let's talk about like quickly, would you prefer to have spikes or rocks? The Bear Scuda, spikes and rocks are going to be both going to do 12% at one level, but of course spikes has the advantage of being able to go up 25%. So obviously it's purely better. Fish Sharp resists rocks, spikes is better. Well, Cephalon is actually a very good case to have rocks up because it's often not wearing heavy duty boots and you want rocks because while yes, spikes can get up to 25% damage per swap in, rocks is going to be better 90% of the time because it just does it immediately and very easily. Uh, Blissey, always wearing heavy duty boots, but if it's not, you want spikes. Buzzful, usually wear heavy duty boots, but if not, you want spikes because it's 12%. Fable, immune to both. Corviknight, again, a good example. I think you're gonna make an argument against me here and saying Stealth Rocks is bad. I think Corviknight and Lander are the biggest arguments because Stealth Rocks hits them uh, for 12% and that prevents them from pivoting in all the time. I think it's definitely a fair argument to be made, but I'll just go through the rest here. Like again, spikes, where's heavy duty boots? So, you know what's the argument of like, if you use knockoff on the Dragonite, then at that point, rocks are very useful. But normally if a Dragonite is knocked off, it's lost its multi-scale, and then it's not gonna be very good going forward. It's not gonna be coming in again to use Dragonites again. It's gonna be already greatly diminished. So that's not a big deal. And it's specific too, you have to knock it off first, right? Um, Ferrothorn, again, resist rocks. You want spikes. Uh, Garchomp, spikes. Heatran, spikes. Cartana, uh, Cartana, spikes. Landers, I already talked about them. Spikes, spikes, spikes. Definitely rocks. Again, I'll concede that one there. Same for Pelipper. Both the weather mods and Torkoal's not listed here, but you could definitely make the argument for weather's sake that you want rocks. I, I totally get that. Regilecki, spikes, spikes, boots, boots, but you still want spikes, 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 spikes. Lander's Therian almost always wears boots. So this is a better argument than the Dragonite. You can make the argument you knock off the Tornadus and rocks are more effective going forward. It prevents it from constantly coming in and spamming Regenerator. Um, you can make that argument, but is it worth all these other good matchups? Because again, spikes, spikes, spikes. Uh, depends if they're scarf or boots. I think they're normally boots nowadays. Uh, same thing for this one. I think it's normally boots, but it depends. Volcorn is always boots, of course. That one is a nice one to get knocked off on, but I don't think a lot were on Roost. So it's also, again, similar to the Dragonite, where if it's already lost its boots, it's probably like staying in at that point anyways. Uh, Weavile, again, maybe you want rocks uh, or, or rocks for that, but again, it's, it's, the point is, you know, with Weavile, you probably want rocks against the Bandit or Scarf sets for sure. It does wear on heavy duty boots a lot itself, but you definitely want boots, uh, rocks as a preference to that. But then, like even then, it's only a 12% difference. Spikes are still hitting it every time it swaps in. It's still an effective measure. And it can, of course, build itself up to 25%. Uh, and then uh, these three all wear boots as well. So it's kind of moved from that point forward. Uh, so again, it's really just a couple mods. It's, it's the Weather Mons, it's Blacephalon, and it's kind of Weavile. And it's Lander, Starion, and Corvette hitting them for 12%. So you're running rocks in this metagame for essentially five Pokemon where spikes is better against pretty much everyone else. And this also might seem a little bit moot because the best thing about Stealth Rocks is of course it's proliferation. If you go into, whoops, for the Stealth Rock, look at all these mons that get it. Insane, you can throw it on any mon. There's a bit of ambiguity onto who's running what, but Spikes on the other hand can only be run by one or two uh, OU mons right now, which is going to be, uh, oh, Mew, so three. So Mew, Ferrothorn, and it depends if you count Skarmory or not. I like to count it because I think it's, it, it can definitely hang in overused, but if you want to call it two, that's fine by me. So that's the biggest difference, of course. It's like, Nathan, why are you making this rant video? Of course, Spikes is great. If you're running a Ferrothorn, you should probably run it. But the fact is about 60% of Ferrothorns are running rocks on the tier right now. Uh, it might be 40, no, I think it's 60. And certainly not that many Mons are, are, are Mews are running spikes either. Smogon here's got it right, there we go. Good stuff, Smogon. But the point is, is 
if you have a mon there's a choice between spikes or stealth rocks i think the argument pretty clearly goes towards spikes and the other thing is like why would you run stealth rocks on ferrothorn you can easily throw that onto your blissey into your clefable onto your lander Asterian. again stealth rocks got so many mons why waste the so rare spike setter in, in uh ferrothorn and waste that because of course you know what's better than spikes and better than rocks is the two of them in conjunction taking 37 percent on every swap in is gutting and the game will be over in just a couple of turns that's the case you only need a pokemon to do 60 percent as a sweeper to win at that point so it's ridiculous i get i think we get all that but i think the discussion is as a default move if you have you know one ferrothorn on your team or one mew as a hazard setter i think most people kind of default to stealth rush at this point point. and i guess this video is just a very short uh plea to you all that i think spikes in a heavy duty boots metagame is the better one maybe if it comes back around people notice that everyone uses spikes instead maybe you see a little bit less uh heavy duty boots proliferation people take advantage of that but i still think for my money that in this current meta ou game i would rather have spikes on my ferrothorn and mew and skarmory than rocks regardless i want to hear what you guys think uh i'll catch you next time take it easy